Hello everyone! Welcome back to another episode from the Harmony server. Today we are going to start on a big project. I've kind of lost my place in the world here and I think the best way to find it again is to just start on a big project that will keep me busy. And I've kind of decided my mega base is going to be uh, pretty close by and <laughs> it's something I've never done before but I think will be really interesting. So if we head over this way, off into the distance you will see an ocean monument. And how cool would it be to train it out and transform it into a base? Now I know other people have done this before, but I've never done it before. So I thought it would be a really fun idea to do and we're gonna do it. I think we're just gonna make a circle around the monument and drain it out. Now I don't have any sponges, so we may have to go on an adventure unless Wab has some that we can borrow. But yes, I do have my invisibility potions as well as a little bit of dirt just so we can kind of map out how long we want it to be and then we can uh, generate a circle probably somewhere online and everything will be fine and dandy so we're gonna take all this off we're gonna leave our wings on which I'm hoping is not gonna be a mistake as soon as we get close I think we'll take them off so probably like here Okay, I don't think they see me, so that's good. Please. Okay. Um, oof, these have a four block center. <laughs> Why? Uh, okay, so this is the center. We're gonna path block it just so we know this is the center. And, uh, this is odd. I've never done a four block center. Okay, I think that's a good size. So now we just need to generate a circle that can accommodate this size. So let's see what we can come up with. All right, Rin has given me permission to ransack his stuff and uh, he had some sponges. So we are <laughs> going to dry these out. I think it's just gonna be easier to do that in the nether. Unfortunately, we only have seven, but seven is better than zero sponges. So we may make a little nether portal over there just so that it's easier, um, but we should. Yeah, and then I think a hoe, uh-oh. Do I have a hoe? I should have a hoe. Yeah. Perfect. All right, seven sponges. So what we're going to need now is some gravity blocks, like gravel or sand, and start sectioning off the circle that we made so we can start drying it out with the sponges. And I do have a bunch of gravel, so I think that'll do. Uh, this is just going to be a ton of placing <laughs> gravel <laughs> and probably breaking a bunch of kelp so yeah it's gonna be pretty boring for a little while but that's all right so we have invisibility potions we should be fine so let's get placing some gravel a bit of a problem. You see, I initially thought that this size was going to be good, but now that I'm looking at it, I want it to be a lot bigger. 
Well, I guess it's time to get some more sand and some more dirt so we can make the new circle and do this whole process all over again. And well, I was able to clear out a very small section of the inner circle here, as you can see, but that has taken me quite some time, and I've realized this project is actually going to take a lot more time than I thought it was going to, so we're going to put a pin in it, because if I work on this any longer, this episode won't be out until season one is over. And instead, I figured we could turn our attention towards our base. If you remember a couple episodes ago, we actually tore down all the trees that were here in our front yard and backyard because <laughs> I didn't like the way they looked and I really liked the spruce trees that were in our main area here. And these just didn't match the vibe that I originally wanted and I actually was never truly happy with this area. So I think we are going to put some more spruce trees in this area and I also want to update our maps. So as you can see here, we have two maps of our main area here. One was done April 17th of this year and the second one was done in May 27th. And obviously there were some changes between those two times, but guys, it's been like six months. And as much as I hate mapping out areas, I think it would be really cool to see what's changed since we've done our last map. There is actually quite a bit of difference in the last six months. I mean, considering we only have four members on the server, it's pretty impressive. And it's honestly so interesting to see all the changes over time, so I'm really glad that we're keeping up with this, even if we might be six months late. But oh yes, the time has come that we now need to put some trees in here. So I need to gather up some spruce wood and some leaves, but let's kick it off with a little baby tree time lapse. A little bit overboard. <laughs> Not only did I add in a bunch of custom trees, but I completely revamped this area with bushes, boulders, crops, and coarse dirt. <laughs> I redid the path and oh, I think it looks absolutely magnificent. These crops really pulled the area together and it's just so magical walking through here. It's, it's like this old moose stew headquarters got overgrown and taken over by the forest around it, and I just absolutely love how it turned out. 
But that is going to do it for me today. And next episode, we're going to be getting a little bit more technical on the server here. So I hope to see you back for next episode. But until then, I will see you guys later. Bye!